Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, it's great to see you on the channel. So today I'm gonna to be looking at some pop culture icons, some car icons in Assetto Corsa. So in my research for this, I found all sorts of great cars and you can see them all in this gameplay here. I'm gonna drop all the links in the description below so you can download these and play these and enjoy them as ever on Assetto Corsa. If you are new here and you do like the channel and you like the video, please do click on that subscribe button and guys press that like button because that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Okay then, straight up, the first one we're going to look at is the Batmobile. Yes, it's the Batmobile. Now this is the later Batmobile from some of the later films. I couldn't find the original one, you know, the Batman and Robin one from the 60s because I love that car, but I will keep looking. But guys, look at this model. It is absolutely huge. You can see how big the character is, you know, the driver in this model. This reminds me more of some of the buses and some of the large trucks that I've driven in Assetto Corsa. It doesn't go around corners great. I will say that straight out the bat. But in daytime, it looks great. But at nighttime, this is when the Batmobile comes alive. It's got some awesome animations on the back of the Batmobile as you're flicking through the gears. The lights are great. It just really looks cool on the Seattle map. I haven't run any races with this car yet, but I'm sure it is fantastic. As I said, it is huge and I know you're going to be pushing the other cars around. Also guys, just check out the detail on this. When you download it, stop and look at the detail on the outside. Somebody has gone to a lot of time and effort on this model. And I love the interior as well, where you've got bat speed and bat RPM. So funny, fantastic. So this is my first pop culture icon in a set of Corsa, the Batmobile. Now for something completely different, what a change in pace. So this is the Aston Martin DB5 from James Bond. Now, I think this model, again, is done really, really well. I've picked the right color, I think. Let me know in the comments if you think that's the wrong color. I think that's the James Bond color. And this car looks awesome. So again, somebody's put a lot of time and effort into this. I love the interior detail. All of the camera angles are really cool. The engine noise is great and it drives really well actually, it drives really well. So again, I've not raised this, I thought I'd go on Pacific Coast and just kind of take a trundle around and cruise like James Bond would. So from that cool James Bond DB5, we're gonna go to the Ford XB Pursuit Special. This is Mad Max. So this is one of the original Mad Max cars and I was delighted when I found this. I know there's a few videos out on the internet showing this car in action, but guys, look at it. It is cool. I love the Mad Max films. So this is actually the main force patrol or the MFP. And if you remember in the films, this is the Australian Federal Police Special Task Force. So in Mad Max 1, Mad Max 2, this is the car that Mel Gibson is driving. It's got an awesome amount of power, 500 to 550 brake horsepower, 475 newton meters of torque, and it drives like a proper American muscle car. This is fantastic to drive. I'm driving it here on what is a semi free roam track this is Sorrow County and I'll put the link in the description below again. And this is one of those tracks that you can get up to maximum speed and check out all those cool Mad Max camera angles. This is another car that I've not actually tried on a race yet but I'm going to do because I think it'll be great fun. But guys, bear in mind this car is very powerful and very quick and it gets up to full speed very quickly. Awesome car, this is Mad Max in a set of Corsa. Download it, should be in your collection. And lastly, we're gonna to go to one of my favorite pop culture cars, and this is the DMC DeLorean Back to the Future. Now, this is the first generation. So this is only about 120 brake horsepower, but it's not about how fast it goes. Of course, it has to go over that minimum speed to do time travel. I've not tried time travel on this one yet, but look at the model. The reason this is my favorite is the detail on this model is absolutely stunning. So if this is your model, drop your comment in the description below because I would love to give you a big shout out. 
The dashboard looks absolutely incredible. It drives great. All of the exterior pieces that you would expect from the Back to the Future films look fantastic. It's even got the flux capacitor in there that you'll see in this gameplay. I'm driving here on Brasov, which is a great point-to-point -point track from SimTracks. And if you've not checked out SimTracks website, they have some great offers on there and all of their tracks have tons of detail on them. So I thought it was really fitting to drive this great car on this great track. For those of you that know your cars, you'll know the DeLorean was made in the early 80s. So I think this is from 83 by the DeLorean group based in Ireland. Now this car had some really unique features. It had gull wing doors, which looked fantastic in the showroom. It had brushed aluminium bodywork. So the bodywork was metal, it was brushed, it wasn't painted. And I think this model captures it really well. And the last thing is that these cars absolutely flopped. So even though these are fantastic cars nowadays and very collectible, you're looking well north of £25,000 to buy one of these. They absolutely flopped. This is a fantastic model on Assetto Corsa. Download it now, guys. This is why I love Assetto Corsa, all these fantastic modders doing these great models. If you're a petrol head, Assetto Corsa is the place to be. Thank you for watching as ever. I've really enjoyed making this video. If you do like the video, click on that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps me to grow the channel. See you soon, guys.